Hi, today we'll be coding this border effect using a single image element and a bit of CSS. You may be thinking that's pretty simple. We can just use a padding for that gap and then use border image. However, there are a couple of problems with that. The first one is here, we need actually more than one gradient for our colorful border. So first off, we need a conic gradient to get one color for each of those four quarters. So something like we have here, for each of these four quarters, we're going to have one color for our conic gradient. And then we'd need four radial gradients to get those roundings that uh, you see where the colors meet, okay? And the problem is border image only accepts one image. That means one gradient, not a list of five gradients as it is the case here, okay? And even if we could somehow do it with a single gradient, this whole thing right here, it's circular. So it's round, it has a border radius of 50% and border image and border radius, they don't play nice together. So as you can see here, we have an element with a border and border radius 50%. You can see it's nice and round. But here, if we enable this border image, you can see that the rounding disappears. And sadly, this is what it is. And we're going to have to find a way to get around that. So let's do that. We already have the image right there. We're going to maximize the CSS and we're going to create a mixin. So we're going to have mixin let's call this border ring and it's going to take a list of colors and uh, then we're going to have the border width and we're going to have a gap which is going to default to the border width if we don't set it explicitly okay so having done this first off we're going to get the length of that list of colors so that's going to be length okay and then we're going to compute a base angle and this one is going to be 360 degrees over that n we've just uh, got uh, and then we're going to have a list of stops for our conic gradient and this is initially going to be empty and then we're going to have a loop so for i from 1 through n okay uh, this is because um, this list is the index is one based so it goes from one, two, three, yada, yada, n minus one, n. Okay, so the last value is n, not n minus one as it would be if we started from zero. Okay, so here we're going to compute the current angle, which is going to be i times the base angle. And then we're going to have our stop list is going to be its previous version. And then we're going to add the color of the, at uh, the current index i, okay? and this is going to be 0% and the current angle, okay? And here we're going to set the background to, we're going to use that stop list there and let's set conic. We don't have autocomplete for conic, that's why I set it like that. Okay, so having done this on our image, we're going to call this mixin. So, um, we're going to have include border ring and I can't spell border. You know, if I could use a keyboard, that would be great. Okay. So we have that. We're going to take that list of colors. So something like this. And let's say something like one M's. Okay. Uh, we're not going to see anything unless we also set border uh, solid, that border width transparent let's see that okay um, and it looks a bit weird uh, let's also set the padding to that uh, gap value and you're going to see just why it looks weird so the thing is the background uh, origin is set to the padding box so that means that the zero zero is in the top left corner of the padding box which it extends up to here so the first part you see right here that's the padding and the outer part that's the border okay so everything uh, the background size is relative to the padding box so the background size at this point it's 100 percent 100 percent and it's relative to the padding box but we can fix this okay by setting the background origin to border box and then that's going to fix it and everything 
the background position and the background size, they're all going to be relative to the border box. So let's set uh, background origin border box. Okay, that does it. Let's also set border radius 50%. Okay, now it's nice and round. And the next step is going to be to add those roundings. Or let's uh, get uh, that uh, gap right there. So we're going to do that with a mask. So WebKit mask. Um, yeah. Uh, we're going to have a radial gradient. And we're going to use closest side we don't even have autocomplete for that uh, we're going to have something with an opacity of one so red does it i use red because it's only three characters okay so that's the only reason but anything that has an alpha of one works just fine okay so it's going to go up to there so that's going to be 100 percent minus the border minus the gap so that's going to be calc 100 percent minus the border width b minus the gap and then we're going to have transparent, for some reason autocomplete doesn't work. Okay, transparent, a zero. And then we're going to have something very similar, but without the gap. Oh, yeah, if I could use a keyboard, that would be great. Um, okay, so we've done that. And then we're going to have a red again, zero. Let's see it. Okay, uh, we have those jagged edges and that looks kind of crappy so let's uh let's realign things a bit oh so yeah alignment is messed up the whole world is messed up the world is in flames that's a bit dramatic but it's actually from a metal song. Okay, we're going to subtract one pixel so we have a tiny little gap, a tiny pixel gap. And you can see we already ha don't have a jagged edge right there. And that's good. Okay, now here uh, we're going to take this, this calc value, and we're going to use it right there. And we're going to add one pixel. And then we're going to have calc 100% minus one pixel and then we're going to have transparent again so we don't have a jagged edge on the outside okay that's good it's uh, starting to look better now let's take care of those roundings and we said we're going to use radial gradients there so the way we're going to do that we're going to add a second list and this is going to be a gradient list so this is going to be uh, the list that contains those radial gradients that are going to be on top of this conic gradient, okay? So, um, let me just explain you uh, what I want to do here. So when we're going to start positioning stuff, um, everything is going to start from the horizontal axis, the OX axis. Now this goes, so goes in the direction of three o'clock and the conic gradient starts from 12 o'clock. So to have the same start point, we need to go back by 90 degrees. So from three o'clock to 12 o'clock. So we need to subtract 90 degrees. So we have the same starting point, okay? Uh, and next we're going to need to import compass so we can have trigonometric functions. So import compass, okay. Now that we've done this, we can compute the coordinates. Uh, what's your problem? I bet that is the problem. Yeah. So yeah, uh, Compass has some problem with using calc and other stuff like that inside gradients. Okay, uh, that's a bit messed up. Okay, now, actually, let's make this cross-browser. It's just now that I notice. 
So let's play nice with all browsers. Okay, so something like that. And then just uh, copy paste it like that. Okay, now let's get back to computing the coordinates of uh, the centers of those uh, circles that give us the rounding. Now, you can see that the border width is the diameter of one of those circles. So its radius is going to be half the border width. So that radius is going to be 0.5 times the border width, half. Okay, so now the coordinates of those circles, of the centers of those circles, are going to be, we're going to use a calc here. So we're going to have uh, the origin is going, we're going to take it right in the middle and the middle of our element is at 50%, 50%, okay? And then the radius is going to be basically 50% minus the radius of that rounding. So here we're going to have 50% minus the radius of that rounding and we're going to multiply this with cosine of the current angle. Sorry, cosine. Okay, so having done this, we're going to copy paste it and we're going to have something very similar. Okay, and then for our gradient list, this is going to be its previous version. Then we're going to add a radial gradient. Let's, um, let's be consistent, okay. Um, circle at x, y, and we're going to use the color of the current index. Okay, and we're going to go up to the radius, and then we're going to have transparent 0. Okay, so then we're going to have that gradient list right here before the conic gradient and you can see we get those roundings and let's apply the same uh, tactic to get rid of uh, jagged edges so here we're going to put this inside a calc okay so minus one pixel so here we're going to use the radius right there Okay, so we have something a bit smoother. Okay, that's uh, good. And I think we're pretty much done with our mix mixing at this point, so we can just uh, collapse it all. And let's uh, do something in terms of layout and prettify the whole thing. Okay, so on the body, we're going to set display grid. And here on the image, we're going to set uh, place self center. Okay, and this looks like it only works horizontally. The thing is, it's also in the center vertically, but the height of the body is given by the height of its content, which is the image. That's the only thing in the body at this point. So we need to explicitly set a height on the body to the viewport height. Okay, so much better, but we get that scroll bar. So let's get rid of that margin zero. That gets, rid, uh, gets uh, rid of the scroll bar. Let's um, also add a filter right here. So let's say uh, drop shadow, 4 pixels, 4 pixels, uh, 13 pixels. Let's say RGBA black. So it's going to be a semi-transparent black shadow. Okay. Uh, let's also uh, limit the size of this. So let's say that the width is going to be the minimum between 20 ms and um, something like that, I think. We can, of course, also tweak this and use something like that. Okay, so something like that. And we can also set a background here, so repeating linear gradient, 45 degrees. Um, let's say we're going to have two colors. Um, pretty dark, but not quite black, so something like this. Um, and let's say we're going to set a line with, let's say, something like two pixels. 
So this is going to be uh, 0 that line width and here 0 2 times that line width so something like that um, yeah line okay so something like that and we can actually make this a bit um, better if we use square root of 2 times um, times there something like that um, and actually we can make this 2.5 okay I think it looks pretty good and I'm just going to leave it at this I'm not going to tweak it any further I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have if you like the work that I'm putting out since early 2012 and you want me to be able to do more in the future please consider supporting it you can do so by being a cool cat and becoming a patron on Patreon. The link is going to be in the description. Or you can get me something off my Amazon wishlist. Again, the links are going to be in the description, as well as links for all the other resources that I've discussed uh, in this video. Okay? Or you can please share this to show the world what Kimidan CSS these days. Because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching and until next time. Bye!